If I can have your attention here in the media center, we'll continue on with today's Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series media availability. And we are joined by none other than Martin Trex Jr., driver of the number 78 Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats Toyota for Furniture Row Racing. And Martin, very successful this year uh, uh, on mile and a half tracks, coming in off of a great run at uh, Martinsville. How confident are you in that 78 car this weekend here at Texas? Uh, definitely, uh, definitely confidence is high. I feel good about it. Uh, mile and a half is, you know, obviously they've been good for us this year, but, um, you know, I, honestly, I feel like everywhere we go this, this year right now, especially we can, uh, we can run up front and have a shot at winning. So last weekend was uh, a big race for us and, uh, being able to come here with, um, you know, a, a pretty, pretty nice points cushion, uh, feels good. And hopefully we'll be able to go out here and uh, take care of business. Okay, let's open the floor up for questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless microphone to you. We will start with Wolfgang and work our way around. Yeah, Martin. Um, Wolfgang Monza from Germany Rangeport Press Agency. A question, a technical question from the very first beginning in Daytona until today. Is there any special or important development on the car, arrow wise or engine wise? I think throughout the year it's all bits and pieces, you know can you know trying to constantly you know make your stuff better so i would say across the board i think everybody's on that same plan you're always trying to find little things here and there uh, i think our guys have done a good job of continuing to step it up even when we were performing well and winning races so yeah that's uh that's a huge effort a lot goes into and uh, i feel like our our entire group has done a really nice job with it holly kane nascar.com martin how do you guys kind of manage not looking too far ahead with all the success, with the bonus points you have, and, and obviously Homestead being that, you know, key track? How do you kind of keep things chill so you guys are this week, this week, this week, as opposed to looking ahead? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think we've kind of just learned how to do that the past few years, really. Um, you know, especially last year, you always look back at that one as a reminder of, you know, at any time it could slip away. So um, just try not to not to worry two weeks ahead of time doesn't really matter right now and uh, of course we are getting our homestead car ready to go but aside from that you know at the racetrack worrying about things out of your control um it really doesn't do you any good i think right now when we go to the racetrack we really focus in on what do we got to do to run up front on sunday what do we got to do to qualify good today um that's that's kind of our mindset so uh i feel like we've done a good job of that and that's just it, you know, again, we came from 2014 being nobodies, and we've learned along the way, I think, how to control ourselves and our thought process and how to get the most out of each other and, and ourselves as a group. So um, it's definitely taken some practice. Go next to Lewis and then to George. <clears throat> Lewis Frank of Reuters. To follow up on, on, on Holly's uh, question, how do you keep um, – the intensity up somewhere between i don't want to put words in your mouth but is it like calm or psychotic crazy how do, how do you keep this playing level the way the way you do every week for me personally behind the wheel i just i think i just do my normal deal you know i know playoff races are, are a big deal and there's a lot on the line but you know if you try to be someone different than you've been all year or try to do something different than you normally do you get yourself in trouble so i mean i, I feel like um you know throughout the season I feel like I've put myself in a in a spot where I can get everything out of the car put it right on the limit um, but it's my comfortable limit doesn't mean it's somebody else's so I, I think you just try to stay in your comfort zone you try to do the things you know you can you can handle and, and are good at take advantage of your strengths and you know for us um, you know honestly I haven't done anything different at all since the playoffs started um, and I think that's the reason why we've been successful George? Yeah, right here. Um, George Diaz, Orlando Sentinel, you alluded to, you know, kind of the fact that you were nobodies, but uh, obviously you're, you're somebody now. Uh, can you just talk about your perspective and, and, and the evolution of, of your success? And, and it, it seems to come, I wouldn't want to say naturally, but, but you, you've obviously had success. And how do you kind of put all that in perspective with uh, uh, coming into the playoffs uh, as opposed to last season, what what differences kind of do you do you sense? Well, I'm not really sure how to answer that. I mean, I I had a lot of success throughout my career. Um, had a lot of success 
you know, with the Xfinity Championships right off the bat, and then in Cup right away, it, it went fairly well, and then just kind of went through some bad spots with for a lot of different reasons. Um, so, I mean, I, I I definitely appreciate the position we're in a lot more now, I think, than I would have if I didn't go through those bad years or have a, a part of my career where I wasn't sure what I was going to do or if I'd ever get a chance to run up front and have chance to win races again. So I, I definitely think I have that appreciation for what we're doing now a little bit more than maybe some other guys would. Um, and it, I think it helps keep you focused on where you want to get to because you know it's possible. Um, you know, so I think for us, I don't know, we just don't, we don't really think too much about what we're doing. We don't think a whole lot of, or talk a whole lot about it, the success and the wins. We enjoy them when we get them and then we move on to the next one and try to get some more. And, um, you know, there will come, there will come a time, hopefully someday we can all reflect back on what we've done and hopefully there'll be a lot more to celebrate. But, you know, for now, just um, trying to stay focused and uh, enjoy ourselves along the way, I think is the most critical thing. Do we have additional questions for Martin? Martin. Thanks, guys. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, thank you.